found footage 3D has hit Walmart at least last week. And if you're a reviewer and you get it to review, apparently you don't get the cool lenticular slip cover that comes with it. But nonetheless, I digress. The movie does come with two very old school pair of 3D glasses because guess what? It isn't just the name. The movie really is in 3D. Now don't worry, if it gives you a headache like it gives me a headache, you have an option for a regular version. But when I dived into this one, I thought, what the heck? Let's put on the glasses and let's just get a migraine. You combine two things that some people find nauseating. You combine found footage with old school 3D. And when it does come together at certain times, yes, it is as grueling as you might think it would be. The story, not that bad. I will give it credit. We have a group of people planning on making a found footage film, and they want to make the greatest found footage film they could ever make. There's turmoil within the group, but before they even go out into the woods, they decide, hey, let's make it a 3D found footage film, and thus we have our gimmick. So they get to the cabin. Things are a little bit, you know, muffled between the people there. Bad stuff starts happening. The 3D at times looks pretty cool. It is three-dimensional, but unless they're doing this, the effect really is kind of pointless, and they don't do that very much. When people finally start getting knocked off, it happens quite sudden. There is a slow build, and it kind of gets a little dull in the middle. I'll admit that. It's a slow build, but when things start happening, things get a whole lot better. But I'd probably watch it on 2D instead of 3D if I was you, because when people start running around with that camera, with the 3D effect, ugh, let me tell you, keep Tylenol by your bedside. So I kind of respect found footage 3D. I kind of dig the gimmick, even though it gave me a headache, and I'm sure it's going to give a lot of people a headache. Uh, as far as found footage films goes, it breathes just a slight bit of life into the whole concept that's largely been out, you know, overdone and overproduced over the past few years. So, if I had to grade it, what? Let's see. I, I struggle between a two and a half and a three because you kind of respect it enough to give it a three. So, was it? I'm gonna give it a three. I'm gonna be generous. I almost lean towards two and a half, but I'm gonna give it a three out of five. It's got some funny moments. It's got some people you really want to see something bad happen to, and for the most part, you get what you're looking for and like i said it's 3d bust it out with your friends have a couple of drinks drink a dr pepper and watch it or something just don't drink anything that you don't mind coming back up if you get nauseous with fan footage and the combination of 3d also get it somewhere with a lenticular cover because this one doesn't have it and it disappoints me i'd probably give it a three straight up without any hesitation if i just got my cover but i didn't get it so nonetheless cool concept fan footage so that makes me do that these days when you mention found footage but it's okay it's watchable it's fun if you like headaches but hey it's different and difference goes a long long way with me